the easiest kind of x-path and the one that we'll start with is an absolute x-path and to do that we're going to use this sample document that will or this sample instance that we'll be working with a lot it's a lot like the one that we used for I'm um, talking about instances it's got pretty much the same structure but this one it has a little bit more interesting information in it so it'll be more fun to work with okay so let's um, let's take a very quick tour of this instance before we get into xpath um, I'm gonna close it down to speak the instance and once again I'm going to say that the instance is about a prototype the prototype has an about the prototype has info types and the prototype has access structures um, we have two kinds of info types in here movies and people and then inside each movie we can see that the movie itself has a, a variety of tags inside of it and then we also have people and each um, inside each inside the people container are person elements because person is the singular of people and those will have tags as well and then access structures we have a hierarchy we have a sequence in here okay so I did that simply just to review the speaking of the instance and also um, to get you somewhat familiar about it because now it's going to be time to navigate this by XPath. So what have we been doing so far to navigate? We've been opening and closing things and we've been noticing what the children are. So the root tag is prototype and one of its children is info types and one of its children is movies and movies then has its own set of, um, of children. So we can do that up here in this little XPath um, window here, and we can start with the simplest XPath, which is the root element. Now notice that um, I get prompted for the elements in here, which is very nice. So as I start typing the elements, the, uh, the name of the element pops up and I can just select it. So I put it in XPath here, forward slash prototype, all the absolute um, X paths always work the same way. They start with the forward slash, then they name every element between the beginning and the element or attribute that you want to get to. Okay, so prototype, and then when I've got my X path typed in there, I hit enter, and it gives me the results down here in this window. Um, don't worry about the fact that it looks a little bit um, arcane, how it, how it displays that result. All you have to know is that when I click on that result, it highlights the thing that I found. And in this case, of course, I found the entire root element. So I found the entire root element, and down here when I hit, and uh, when I'm in this box up here and I hit enter, down here in this box, I get all of the nodes in the hierarchy. Those are both the attributes and elements, or you could say the tags. All the nodes are tags in the hierarchy that meet the criteria of that X path. And so this is an absolute X path, always works the same way. I'm drilling down from the very top. This first forward slash says I'm at the very top of the document, and then I name every element in between. Okay, so as I do this, you can start to ask yourself before I do it, what would I type in that X path? So now I want to get not to the prototype tag, but I want to get to the info types tag. So what would I type here? Forward slash prototype, then to separate all of the all of the nodes on the hierarchy in parent order, I put in slashes. And now under that, I want to get to the info type tag or info types tag. So I type that. I can select it from the drop down list. I hit go. And now what I get is the info types tag. Similarly, if I want to get down into movies. And now pop up didn't come up, but to get to come up, I can always hit control space. And now I'll get my pop up movies. And now I have one movie selected. And there it is. There's the movies tag. I have the movies tag selected. Now inside of movies, I want to get to a particular movie. Let's go to this. Um, let's go to the movie tag. Now I'm in movie. Now watch what happens. Now down here I have 15 items. Why? Because there are 15 possible matches for the movie tag. We'll see later how to narrow that down and get exactly the one that I want. But for now, notice that this X path didn't return one node, it returned 15 nodes. And I can get to any movie tag in the uh, that's under movies. Now, if there's a movie tag somewhere else that's not under movies, this will not return it. It's the entire path right up from the top of the document. Now, last thing to see, how about if I wanted to get to this ID attribute inside of movie? What would I type? Well, I would type forward slash because the, the ID attribute is a child. And notice in my pop-up, the very first thing says at ID. At is what I save to get to an attribute. And now once again, I get 15 items, but each item actually is only the, is the attribute, not the, um, not the element that the attribute is in. 
Okay, so that's that's um that's absolute x paths. They're really pretty straightforward. Um, they always start with a forward slash that denotes the very beginning of the document. Then they name every node in between the node your in between the root node and the node you're trying to get to. Um, every node is separated by a forward slash. And if you want to get to an ID, if you want to get to an attribute, you use the little at sign uh, before the name of the attribute, and that'll take you there. If only one node is returned by that X path, then only one node, you'll see only one node at the bottom of the screen. If multiple nodes are returned, then you'll see every node that matches that same X path.